remove the flash guard covering up the crankshaft fully. Okay, I'm going to use an electric impact driver to see if I, I can generate the torque to get that pulley bolt off. If it doesn't come off, then I have to come up with another technique. We could try doing bump start, where I'll attach this 19 millimeter socket to a breaker bar and secure the handle end to the ground and just blip the engine over and see if that generates a torque to take that bolt off. Starter motor torque can't generate enough power to spin that crankshaft pulley bolt off. It's a Honda Acura specific crankshaft pulley holder tool. You attach it to a breaker bar, attach it to the pulley, and then secure it to the ground. Crankshaft pulley bolt on a Honda is very uh, difficult to remove. It's on pretty tight. A standard 19 millimeter socket just won't do it. So I bought this other 19 millimeter, specially designed for taking off pulley bolts on a Honda. It has three times the mass of a 19 millimeter impact socket. Let's see if this works taking off the pulley bolt. got it off. I have two half-inch electric impact drivers. I switched to the second one because the first one was running out of battery juice. That did it. Now we have to remove the accessory belt over here. So I'm removing the accessory belt tensioner pulley off. So I got the pulley bolt off, the pulley, the belt. I was thinking about taking off the belt tensioner pulley, but I thought I'd leave that until I get the side motor mounts out. It'll be easier to remove. Now I'm taking off the valve cover. I'm going to detach the power steering pump. I'll remove this hose clamp, plug this side up, and then physically remove the power steering pump. There we go.
I had to do all that to get to this. Before I remove the side motor mount, Easy access to the power steering pump. Now I'll take this side motor mount off. I got that loose, now I could take the valve covers off. But before I take the valve covers off, I have to take this pulley off. I reinserted the crankshaft pulley bolt so I can rotate the engine to top that center until this little arrow over here on that pulley matches the arrow up there. And I put little blue lines or markers to identify it easier visually. I put a blue mark 
paint mark over here so I could transcribe the paint mark from the old timing belt to the new one. So when I re reattach the new belt, I could line the cogs up with a new belt. The rotation of the crankshaft, you want to line up this timing mark over here with this mark over here. And also, this groove on this camshaft pulley, you want to line up with the mark over here on the casing. Timing belt tensioner. And this is the guide pulley. This. Sort of like a uh, belt retentioner on the crankshaft side. Couldn't get the belt off without removing this. We'll start from the crankshaft side. Okay, these are your old pulleys, and these are the new ones. So this new water pump has five mounting points. These three holes were for your side motor mounts. the new gasket, really an o-ring with a little bit of super glue so it doesn't pop off and just mount the water pump back on.
belt tensioner, when this is fully extended, provides variable tension on the belt as the belt loosens. So in order to mount a new belt, this pin, this tensioner pin, has to be recessed or pushed back into this tensioner. And you do it with a vise, or if you're lucky, you could try it with C-clamps. That has to get transferred. Put some grease on it. Now that goes on like that. Now we're ready to mount the timing belt. See that? That to that to that. That to that to that.